So this is November 3rd, 2025, and we are still getting calls about swarms and absconds. Um, this little bunch of bees you can see is in winter torpor. So it was pretty cold the night before, lows in the 40s. And so they look dead, right? They look like they're not moving. Um, you can just see just barely little signs of life, but they are uh, very still, very cold little bees waiting it out. And so um, this call was in a neighborhood in Abilene, and so we wanted to go help the homeowner out and uh, get these bees out of her little um, pond area and into a nuke box that I was going to take with me to one of my ag yards. And so um, the bees in Torpor are really gentle to handle. They, of course, were not flying. It was pretty cold. They didn't have any comb. They weren't building anything. Um, they don't really have a shot like this. So what we're doing is scooping them into a nuke box where I'm going to give them some drawn comb that I have from other hives and give them a chance. Um, because they were on the ground, we are curious, you know, is their queen wounded? Is something wrong with their queen? Why are they on the ground? The homeowner said that she noticed the bees in her, a tree earlier, uh, a couple weeks before, as early as October 15th. And then at some point they just started hanging out in that little um, pool pond area. So you just kind of wonder, did the queen get damaged or wounded or is she not there? Uh, what, what's going on? What's up with this this colony? Because it's not normal for them. They're not ground nesting bees, right? These are honeybees. These are Apis mellifera. So they were all behind all of that um, netting, and we just worked slowly um, to scoop out as many bees as we can as we could. Um, we had three girls on my team this morning. It was awesome to work with them because they work what I call slow fast. So it's it's slow, but it's efficient. It's gentle. You can see um, the bees can absolutely sting through those gloves. So that can turn from zero to 100 really quickly. Um, but everybody was moving slowly, gently, not squishing bees, not harming bees, not setting off their alarm pheromone, and just encouraging them into that nuke box, which is a great little traveler. Um, so that was, that was going to ride in the back of my truck. So when you're touching bees that are in torpor, that are in that uh, winter state, that are just kind of, they're very still, it feels like you're grabbing some netting, um, you, you know, you just time slows down. There's nothing else going on in the world. All you're doing is just being very, very present with the creature, the superorganism in front of you. And it's, it's hard to go slow fast because you just want to sit there and watch them um, but I didn't want them to all of a sudden puff up and decide, hey, it actually is warm enough to fly and we're ready to get out of here. Uh, so I do not know if we got the queen. Um, we certainly looked as while we were scooping them. Um, we did see some signs of fanning. We could have gotten her. We might not have. I'm not sure. Maybe she wasn't even there. Um, but my goal was to get the neighborhood safe by moving the bees and then get the bees safe by giving them some drawn comb and uh, getting them out to my ag yard to give them a shot. Now, I know it's November, but we are still seeing drones, and we are still seeing swarms. This is such a weird year, right? It's very late in the season to be seeing boy bees, but what could happen is that they could draw out some queen cells and um, have a, a young virgin queen go on a mating flight even this late, and I know this to be true because here in the yard where we brought them to, uh, we were putting on shims and feeding um, sugar sugar bricks too in this yard. But I've we've seen we saw drones in this yard today in the frames. So there's the bees that we scooped up in their little nuke, and uh, they they had one frame to kind of cling on to. You can see, and as I flip it over, you'll see just there's a good amount of bees there. So. Yeah, big chunk of bees, nice amount. So I just set them down into the wooden nuke, which I think will keep them a little bit warmer. I wanted to keep them in a smaller space, and then I just took my time kind of gently scooping them out, um, and then eventually I can give them a little, little bop there <laughs> to get them all the way out. So within that, we fed them a little bit of a sugar brick, and they were very happy to receive that. They were all over the sugar brick, really liked it. Very gentle, very calm bees. Um, and yeah, we just 
close them up. I'll go check on them in a couple of days and see what their activity is like. If they don't have a queen or if it's not looking good, I'll just combine them into another colony that might be a little bit smaller. So they have a home, they have a plan, they have a purpose. Their little um, genetic coding will continue. So um, to switch gears just a little bit, this is just a demonstration of taking off the top, putting on a shim, and then installing a little bit of a sugar brick. So I don't want to keep feeding sugar syrup when the temperatures drop because the moisture and the cold um, is what can kill the bees, right? So instead of having a liquid syrup, I want to put this sugar brick down as a way for them to continue to have some feed during this time of year. So the shim just kind of lifts the, the lid of the box up a little bit so that it'll, you know, the little fit. And uh, that was that. And I always make sure to put a brick back on top when I'm done working. <laughs> um, because it was really windy today. And um, yeah, I just, I was really surprised at the amount of wind out in the country versus the city. So we just went around to each colony, made sure everybody got a snack, see what they think about it. Um, these are, are Stan's sugar bricks, and 100% of the profits go to Hives for Heroes. So this colony, I was just showing you that the uh, there are still bees making queen cells. So we still have a little bit of honey left this season, and uh, we appreciate you liking and subscribing to the channel and supporting the bees.